serious concerns raised by members of the clergy Thursday in a stinging attack of President William Ruto's administration. In an attempt to mend fences with the powerful Catholic Church, President Ruto is even promising to attend a service Sunday where he hopes to meet the men of the cloth and speak to their concerns. NTV's senior reporter David Muvoka now reports on the change of tune by Ruto towards the Catholic bishops. The war of words between President William Ruto and Catholic bishops took a new twist Saturday when Ruto came face to face with the 28 Catholic bishops who issued a hard-hitting statement against his administration. President William Ruto and his deputy Kithure Kindiki forced to eat the humble pie by promising to look into the issues raised on the Social Health Authority. Ruto had just 24 hours ago told of the bishops at a graduation ceremony held at Tangaza University run by the Catholic Church, but the bishops chose not to engage the president at the ceremony, instead focusing only on the ordination of one of their own. However, this statement by Archbishop Hubertas Mateus Maria van Megen seemed like a subtle attack towards the leaders. The life of a bishop is not about honor and respect. It's not about being with the powerful. It is not about being a politician yourself. We leave that to others. It is not about being proud or fixed on money waiting for the famous brown envelope. It's not about ruling with an iron fist or looking for revenge when you feel hurt in your honor. The new Embo Bishop Kemani Ndongo welcomed his new role with a call for unity of purpose. I do not take it for granted and this is also a testament of our common purpose as church and state. To serve the people holistically and in solidarity for the good of all. Nungo is the fourth bishop to ever lead the Diocese of Embu. From Monday, Catholics and Kenyans at large will be watching President William Ruto closely to see whether he will fulfill his promise to rectify his mistakes or whether his speech in Embu this Saturday was, as the Catholic bishops put it on Thursday, another one of his perpetual lies. David Muthoka, NTV, Nairobi. Also, the stalemate surrounding the shareable revenue to 